Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Linda and this is Ashley and you have joined us, you've tuned into our series In the Know where we make it simple and today we are simplifying renal labs. Labs is kind of like one of those trigger words in students where they hear labs and they think like oh no labs are so hard for a lot of students and rightfully so and that's because students often know what a normal lab value is because that's just memorization and repetition. They often also know which lab values refer to which systems, um, but what they lack is the critical understanding of why a lab value might be high or might be low, and most importantly, what does that mean for our patient, right? So today we're gonna simplify the renal lab values um, and just talk about what those lab values are, and we're gonna refer to a chart here and give you some simple ways to understand um, the renal-specific labs. Um, if you think of the kidneys, I want you to rethink of the kidneys in new terms. So the kidneys we know physiologically filter our blood from waste products and kind of decide what's going to stay in our body and what's going to be excreted through our urine. So the way I want you to think about the kidneys is that they're actually two garbage men uh, which are in your body and they take out the trash. That is indeed exactly what it is their job to do among other super important things. But think of them as the garbage men. So what happens in your household if you miss garbage day, right? I know in my household, if we miss garbage day, the trash starts backing up. What happens when trash sits there? It kind of ferments, it gets toxic, it gets yucky, right? All of these things. The exact same thing happens within the human body if the kidneys stop doing their job and stop taking out the trash. So renal labs are a measurement of the kidneys doing their job or the kidneys taking out the trash. So let's refer to our chart now with having that in mind, okay? So we should know from nursing school that our main rebel, renal lab, sorry, are bun, creatinine, and specific gravity. You'll see we have them listed here. So let's make sense of those. Bun stands for blood, urea, nitrogen, and this is a blood test. So we would be taking a sample of the patient's blood and sending it down to the lab, um, and it measures the amount of urea and nitrogen left in the blood. What urea nitrogen is, is actually a product of protein, I always misspell protein, protein breakdown. So what happens is in our body all day long, all the time, we are constantly breaking down proteins and the byproduct of protein metabolism is blood urea nitrogen. So it's the trash, right? It's the trash that's left over after our body does its job. So it is the kidney's job right, to take out the trash. So what happens if the kidneys do not take out the trash in the blood system, so the leftover blood urea nitrogen after protein breakdown, it is left in the blood in higher than normal quantities. So an elevated BUN is a massive indicator of kidney problems because the trash simply isn't being taken out. Now, what is our normal, our normal BUN? is 10 to 20 so we also need to memorize our normal creatinine is the next probably the most popular and most specific renal lab and what creatinine is it's also a blood test creatinine is what's left over in the body after we break down muscle so it's basically just like bun and the same concept but it's a result of muscle breakdown and what happens is if the kidneys don't take out the trash, right? We break down muscles and then we have leftover creatinine in our bloodstream. If the kidneys don't take out that trash, um, we are left with higher than normal amounts of creatinine in our blood. So you would have an elevated creatinine level. So let me just right here, take out the trash. You would have elevated creatinine. C, my C doesn't want to write. <laughs> Hang on, this isn't working here. There we go. So what is our normal creatinine? This one's hard because it's different for males and females. The male normal is 0 0.6 to 1.3, and the female normal is 0 0.5, sorry, that's got a point there, to 1.0. So you can see that both bun and creatinine are pretty similar in terms of they are trash left in the body when the kidneys aren't getting rid of it. Specific gravity is a little bit different. This is a urine sample now, U-R-I-N-E sample. So this isn't a blood sample, this is a urine test. And what specific gravity measures is the amount of solutes in the urine. 
The reason why this is important is because it's basically deciding whether or not the kidneys are doing a good job at concentrating the urine or if the urine is too dilute or if the urine is too concentrated. So if you refer back to our Facebook Live, we drew a little thing called the concentration dilution stairway where we talk about concentration makes the numbers climb and dilution makes the numbers go down. You can refer back to that. So if we're talking about specific gravity, if we take a urine sample of concentrated urine, <clears throat> the number would climb. And if we took a sample of dilute urine, that number would go down in terms of the specific gravity. And now our normal specific gravity is 1.010 to 1.030. So these are our three renal labs that we need to be aware of in terms of defining somebody's kidney capacity. So this is where our cue card package that we, that's part of our, our uh, complete study package comes together with critical thinking. Because in order for you to understand complex questions, you need to do some memory work. Uh, half of these questions are lab values and so this is where you would be memorizing um, all of the, these uh, renal lab values that are so important. Why is memorization key? There's a certain amount of content that we just need to know cold and we recommend that you run these cue cards every day until you can get through them um, knowing everything that's in there, that critical knowledge. Uh, the importance of it really is because we need to know that to be able to apply it to our physiology. So when you have a patient that you're looking after and something is off and a lab value comes back that is abnormal, that you can understand what's going on in your patient so that you can help them. And that's really what this is all about. Exactly. So it's not enough to know what the normal BUN is. I need to know the normal BUN is 10 to 20 if my patient's BUN is 50. I know their kidneys aren't taken out the trash, the kidneys are failing, there's something wrong, um, and I need to investigate that further. So thank you so much for joining us. We hope simplifying these renal labs have made them a little easier for you to understand. And um, for more in the know and all concepts simplified for your registration exam, you can check out our complete study package, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye for now.